Today's Catan combo was Traitors and Barbarians. So you can see one, two, three, as well mixed with Land Ho. So you have the mystery islands out there. So a few things. As you can see, we had to use uh, some seafarers hexes and just some water hexes in order to place this one out in the ocean. You could also, I guess, place, place them all on the main island, but we wanted to make it a little bit different, a little bit more fun. These two on the mainland both have numbers. They do produce. As you can see, make sure that the roads are aiming this way. So one will go straight out into the water and then the rest kind of go onto the island. These four roads face the island. You can turn it the other way. It would take just a little bit more movement points. We went up to 17 victory points and the game took us just over an hour. Uh, so now we also used the pirate ship. He took care and blocked the ships and the wagons going out to here. And then we had two barbarians on the mainland that blocked the wagons on the mainland. Now. There's two different kinds of movement points when you're playing this one. There's your ship movement points, which is four. One, two, three, four. As soon as your ship is carrying a wagon, however, it uses the wagon movement points. And just like on the mainland, if there's no road, each of these spaces takes two movement points. It's a heavy, it's a heavy wagon to get out to the ocean. So that's kind of what we were doing. Now, let's say my wagon's here and I need to get out to here. It costs one movement point to load. So that's one, two, three. Now there's the pirate ship there. You can roll depending on your baggage train cards. So let's say I'm at this level. I would roll. It's a one, I don't get past him. So I've already used one to get on. Two, three. I have three more movement points left. Therefore, it would cost me one, two, because there's no road plus two because I did not scare off the robber or defeat the robber. So I would not be able to move. I do not have enough movement points. Let's push him aside for a second and say I'm here. One, two, trade in your goods. Three, so it costs one to load. Four or five, and then one to unload. There we are. Okay. Uh, another thing that we determined was at first we were going to play that your wagon could only be loaded at the harbor settlement. That was getting difficult. That was getting really, really difficult, and we decided against that. So we just moved our ships and to the wagons if we could. And then if the ships were, if the pirate was there, we just kind of played with it and made it work. And overall, it actually worked really, really well. Uh, a couple of things, what else did we notice? So there, the only extra victory points is of course your largest army because of the development cards, there are knight cards in there. Don't forget you start with two coins. You do collect, if your number is not rolled, if you don't collect a resource, you get a coin. If a seven roll, you, have, you had a choice to move either the barbarians or the pirate ship. So those were your two options there. 
the starting initial placement is a harbor settlement and a regular settlement. Don't forget to move both your wagon and your boat. So let's say you're on your way over to this place here. You'd move him one, two, three, four, five, six. But you'd also get be able to move, if you wanted, to move your boat out. So one, two, three, four. Don't forget the boat moves further when he's not carrying the wagon, just because he's got a lighter load. It's just how it is. The base trade in this one is three to one. Don't forget there are no cities. Now the harbor settlements, again, don't forget, they are worth two victory points, but they only produce one resource if that number is rolled. Other than, la other than that, all the other rules are pretty much the same. So let's roll the dice and we'll show you the order of placement. Mom rolled the highest. Mom's going to place first. So oral order of placement goes like this. Harbor settlement, harbor settlement, harbor settlement. Then orange would play a settlement, red, and blue. After that, blue will place a ship and a settler, as well as a road and a wagon. Then red will place the ship and settler and road and wagon, followed by orange. So that is the order of placement. Let's see who wins.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, that was crazy. That's a little bit crazy, but it was it actually worked together. So pretty impressed. Keep playing and have fun.